Okay, I got an individual here who's going to tell us about Cooling Tower Motors. Could you tell us who you are? Yeah, my name's Tom Winandy, and I'm with uh, Baldor, uh -huh. representing power and water industry. I'd like to share a few minutes uh, regarding the direct drive cooling tower motor. This is a uh, very innovative technology uh, for the cooling tower market. Uh, what we're doing here is actually taking a motor that uh, has a lot of additional and features and using that to replace the existing mechanical drive system of these cooling towers. The drive system, uh, depending upon whether it's uh, fabricated or field erect, would involve a reducer and possibly a drive shaft. Both of, okay. both of those are items that uh, do require maintenance, do have failures, and uh, create a lot of issues relative to reliability long term. So what we're okay. doing is removing those and essentially replacing more of the reducer sets, putting a direct drive motor in place, okay. and utilizing this with a, a drive controller because of the technology involved to vary the speed of the fan relative to what was there before. The technology itself is a permanent magnet rotor. So, so this is a design. So this is a permanent magnet in the rotor. Yes. Okay. Okay. As opposed to an induction motor. As opposed to an induction motor. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There are two it is now 7 p.m. Two technologies. The show floor is now closed. That allowed us to provide a lot of power in a small package. One is the permanent magnet rotor, the other is the laminated frame design. The combination of those two allowed us to put the power density in a small enough footprint in order to allow us to go in and replace reducers today. Now, um, so these are this has more poles because it's a lower RPM motor? Eight pole design, but the base frequency is probably uh, in the six to seven hertz range as an example. Okay, now down here, down here. Yeah, down here is a larger version. It's a 440 frame. Okay. Uh, short core, but it gives you a different perspective of the size of the unit. Okay, uh huh. Okay, well, Tom. I thank you very much for your time. My customers thank you. Certainly. Okay, bye-bye.